There you go. Mikkel. I'm Mikkel. So Mikkel did his due diligence and work here. He wrote down a bunch of questions. And we're going to discuss them today. Okay? Do the angels ever get captured? Do the angels ever get captured? That's the question. Okay. By the gym. Do the angels ever get captured by the gym? Uh-huh. Interesting. Well, look, I don't know 100%, but what we do know is angels are more powerful than the jinn, right? Because they're like the guards or the knights of God. I don't think the angels can ever get captured or beat up by the jinn because tradition shows us it's usually the, the angels who can conquer the jinn if they need to, by Allah's permission. Does God ever cry when we do, when, when we do many good stuff? So you're asking if God cries because he gets so happy with what we do? Uh-huh. Well, God doesn't have human emotion like we do, Habibi. But what we do know is God describes himself in ways that are similar for us to relate to. So God says he has a face, he sees, he hears, he has hands. But we know that God is not like anything, right? He's not like a person. He's nothing you can imagine. He's, he's not like sharks. He's not like sharks, no. Um, God is incomparable. So God does talk to us in the Quran about, you know, he gets angry or he has pleasure or he is pleased. So God can definitely be happy with us when we do good, right? God also can love us. He can also not love us. Depends on what we do. So, no, it said did God ever fight with the jinn when the time where the dinosaur is alive? Oh, well, look, think about it like this God never is gonna come and fist fight with Satan like you see, you know, superheroes fighting each other like that, right? But there is certainly, in a sense, a battle between good and evil in the world. And there's God's side with the angels and the prophets and good people. God. And you have Satan's side with the demons, demonic people, as well as demonic jinn. So, so you have the devil part and you have the Quran part. Yeah, the devil part and the Quran part. The good guys and the bad guys. That's, mm -hmm. You know, there is this concept for sure. Right? I if think, God lost his powers, do you think he could still be God? No, I think he would just be like a, like a, like an angel, like those angels that like guard him. Well, think about it. If God loses his power, can he still be God? Hmm. I think yes. You think so? Okay, let me ask you this. If the Incredible Hulk could no longer change into the Hulk, would Banner still be the Incredible Hulk? No, he would just lose his powers and then no more Hulk for him. That's right. Now that's possible for a guy like Hulk because he's a creature, he's a, he's a created thing, right? But in Islam we understand and in most religions that what makes God a God hmm. is God is full of power, God needs nothing, mm -hmm. and, and God is self, go he's self, bathroom. he doesn't need to go to the bathroom, he doesn't eat, he doesn't sleep, Drink. He, he's self, he's self-subsistent or self-containing. In other words, God, it's like God doesn't, he doesn't need anything on the outside to help him. Like you and I, we need oxygen to breathe, so that Water. means we're dependent, yeah, we're dependent creatures, or we're dependent creatures on a lot of things for us to live and to have power and energy. That's why we get very tired if we don't sleep or we don't eat. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in Ayat al-Kursi, for example, that no sleep nor slumber overtakes him. Allah has eternal power, right? He can't lose his power and his power doesn't change. Like he doesn't get weaker on some days or stronger on other days. God is always very consistent in his oneness 
and his attributes and powers. So you know, no, the answer is no. God can't lose his powers. And if he does, then he wouldn't be God and we wouldn't worship him. Right? Because there's no point of worshiping something that's weak and needs things. Because that's like us. We need things and we're weak. So why would we worship something that is also like that? Right? Were the angels born? Oh, that's an interesting question. Well, I don't think you could say they were born. Because if you're born, you need to have parents. And we know that angels are made of light. Mm -hmm. And Allah created them. And they were around before probably the jinn and humans. And the jinn and humans have parents. So they were each born, but angels are not. Excuse me. Was the Prophet ﷺ ever sad? Was the Prophet Muhammad ﷺ ever sad? That's a great question. Yes, of course, he's a human being. Did you know that the Prophet ﷺ had many children and five of them died while he was alive? So imagine a father has to bury five of his own kids that made him sad and cry. He also got very sad and cried when his uncle Hamza got killed in one of the battles that the good guys were fighting in the bad guys. So the Prophet definitely got sad. He got upset sometimes. He even got angry sometimes. It depended on what was going on, right? But he never did anything with his emotions that was destructive or harmful. So how did Prophet Muhammad's kids die? They got sick. In, in the old days, they didn't have as much medicine technology and people didn't live as long as we do today people actually used to die much younger because if they got a disease or bacteria they didn't know how to treat it like a lot of things that we treat easily today like the cold or the flu could have killed people in the past for example or a fever even right so all of these things are reasons why people would die much younger Here. What was the first animal God created? Huh, that's a good question. I have no idea, buddy. I don't know. Okay. Some people say that the first thing God created was the pen. I thought it was Adam. Like a pen. Well, he was the first human. But some say the first thing God created was the pen. It was a special pen that wrote everything down that was in God's knowledge in a book, which they are in a sense, were rational or speaking animals, as the Arabic dictionary says. But if Adam came to Earth and there were already animals on it, it means that there were probably animals around before Adam, too. So, who knows? Could have been the dinosaurs, it could have been something else, it could have been other animals somewhere else in a different universe. We don't know. When, when, when nothing was... Uh... Uh, when nothing was created by God, was he only there? Yeah, at some, time, at some point, I mean, even to use the word time, they'll make sense. But at some point in time, God says he existed, he always was, and he always will be, and he'll never cease to be, and nothing was with him. Mm. And some tradition says the reason why God created everything... Because you could say, why would God create anything if he doesn't need anything? Okay, I get it. Right? But God was like a hidden treasure. And he wanted to be discovered and known. And he wanted to be enjoyed. So he created creation. Because it's also one of his powers. A creator is one of Allah's powers. Al-Khaliq. 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 So if I say I'm a musician, a guitarist. And you say, oh, Karim, can you play guitar? And I say, no, I don't know how to play guitar. Oh, Kareem, you're a musician. Show me some songs you made. And I'm like, oh, I don't have any songs. Are you going to believe I'm a musician? No. No. If I say I'm a painter, or I, I'm an artist, I draw. And you say, oh, let me see you draw or let me see you paint. And I don't have any. Are you going to believe I'm an artist or a painter? No. Yeah. So if God is the creator, he's going to create. Okay. Makes sense? And that's one of his powers. I get it now. Why Muslims don't celebrate Christmas? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I think a lot of the reason, the best way to explain that, buddy, is, you know, we live in America, right? And right now and we're in Brazil. Um, Christmas is a religious as well as a cultural holiday. 
So some people make it a religious practice, means they go to church, they read the Bible, they say certain things that we don't believe during Christmas. And the biggest thing that we don't believe about the Christian theology is that Jesus was God in any way, shape, or form, right? We believe Jesus was like a superhero prophet. He had special powers, but it was all granted or given to him by God. He didn't have any of that power on his own, okay? But some Christians, they celebrate Christmas on December 25th for certain historical reasons, and this is the day they believe, or some people say, God was born, which is ridiculous, because as we said, God can't be born if he has no parents, and he was always there. He's eternal. So he, how, why would we celebrate something that's false, right? Okay. That's, why, that's how I would answer in a short way. Okay, I get it now. With that cute little intro here. Mm -hmm. The cat said it. <laughs>